Hi my loves, welcome back to another vlog. I thought we would do a little get ready with me this morning and I was just about to start filming and I remembered I actually have some new products from a new brand which I've never tried before that I wanted to try out and I kind of wanted to try them out on camera so I haven't used them yet. It's a brand called Dear Dahlia and they are cruelty free and I believe a lot of their product is vegan as well. I could be wrong. So I got a few bits to try out from them and I thought we'd just catch up this morning sorry if i'm out of breath um or what look like i'm struggling <laughs> i i'm really struggling with standing up at the minute um which i know just sounds utterly ridiculous doesn't it i've currently run out of my favorite skin longevity serum from bare minerals so i'm going to use this arborean user double lotion um, this morning which is a biphase radiance lotion strengthened and revitalized skin effect I have used it a couple times before and you give it a shake put a few drops in your hand and then like pat it into the skin and it a bit more blurry but anyway yeah really struggling with standing up don't know what that's about um, I can sort of go on a walk but standing in position uh, doesn't do me any favours at the moment. It makes me feel a bit faint and a bit funny. I read all these like birth stories and people are like, I walked five miles a day up until the very end. And I say I'm all right on walks, but I don't think I can manage that. And it just, I just feel really unfit. <laughs> I am uh, 34 weeks, coming up to 35. So yes, baby is imminent. I think currently, she will arrive sometime in my 40th week, so after her due date. Um, that's, I think, when me and Indy arrived. Um, so if my pregnancy is like my mum's, that's what I'm predicting. So I reckon we have somewhere around six weeks left to go, which is really exciting. If she wanted to arrive, you know, at 38 weeks, she's allowed. I'm just letting you know in there because I am beginning to struggle and not just with not just with standing you guys um, I feel like I started complaining too early like I feel like as soon as I hit 32 weeks I just started to feel much more uncomfortable she's really up in my ribs um, I've got a little foot like really up there um, which makes me dread to think where my organs are <laughs> and I get a lot of rib pain, I'm getting a lot of back pain. Sorry, I don't mean to come on here and complain this morning, but <laughs> that's clearly what's happening. And I was like, God, I only ever hear people be like, the last month of pregnancy is so hard, or, you know, the last few weeks, and here I am with eight weeks to go. Not feeling fantastic. Um, I'm also gonna use the kind of complimentary avoid product which is the user sorbet um, moisturizer which I've also been trying sort of here and there um, I find this is a little bit at least my skin a little bit oily I don't know if it will work better for much drier skins I mean mine is drier than it normally is anyway but it has a kind of um, slightly oilier finish to it than the bare minerals ones that I like yeah it just feels kind of light okay it kind of feels lighter which is nice and I suppose it would give you more, like, shine, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, so <laughs> I thought I'm complaining too early. And now that I'm in the 34th week, I'm feeling even more uncomfortable. And I'm like, wow, there's still quite a long way to go. There's <laughs> still quite a lot of growing to be, do to be done in there. So please, someone reassure me that I'm not complaining too, too early. <laughs> Um, I'm envying all the long torsoed women out there that just have a little bit more space. I am not one of them. I'm kind of average height, but I feel like I have a short torso specifically. Anyway, she can arrive from 38 weeks if she'd like. Now I've got a car seat, nappies, clothes. I sort of feel a little bit more prepared because um, there was a stage when we had nothing about a couple weeks ago and then I just frenzy bought everything <laughs> because I was getting nervous. Just using my trusty Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is many shades darker than my actual skin tone so you are going to have to bear with me on this. Why don't I zoom you in a little bit so you can see 
see you better. I'm sorry about the lighting by the way. Yes, I am not going to walk outside and open this shutter from the outside. Um, we can get a bit of natural light in here, but also it's really cold in the barn today. I'm just going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer, just this little stick one, and just conceal a little bit. Yeah, I'm wearing Zach's jumper today. A number of his pieces in my daily wardrobe, just for a bit of variety, including some of his joggers. We've reached that stage. I'm going to put just a little bit of bronzer on, just like a dusting, just to bring some um, colour to my face. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals and the Summer Bronzer in Faux Tan, and then we will use some of this Dear Dahlia stuff. Anyway, plans for today, my loves. Um, Zach and I are actually going to take our neighbour's greyhound for a walk, which is very exciting. Don't worry, we distance from our neighbour and everything. Um, but yes, he has a nine-year-old greyhound, so we're going to take him out for a little walk, which I'm very excited about. Obviously missing Mimi so, so much. Does this sound completely crazy? I miss, like, touching a little dog skull, like a little dog head. They just fit the hands so perfectly, soft, warm. I just, I just love that feeling. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know whether Teddy's going to be very friendly and whether he's going to want pats from me. I'm going to gently suggest the idea to him and see how he feels. I've got three of these little pots and they're all actually different, which I've got to say is a little bit confusing. <laughs> I think I would prefer, if I'm going to use these products long term, to have them in slightly different packaging because you want to be able to kind of reach for them. One is an eyeshadow and multi balm, Paradise maybe. So there's these nice colours on this side. And then on the other side, there is a balm, which I quite like the colour of. So I think you can use this on your cheeks, lips and eyes, I think. Um, but this is a kind of weird colour that I think I would quite like for my eyes maybe in summer, um, sort of peachy, orangey colour. I mean, it would work nice as a blush as well, but yes. I like sort of balmy products like that for the eyes because I feel like they're not as easy to come by. And I think that would be quite a nice sort of flush of colour on the eye. Sorry about my lips, by the way. They're so dry and I end up picking them and it's really bad. Okay, maybe Paradise was not what it's, what it's called. Okay, that was actually in Strawberry Crush. And then we've got another one, which is an eyeshadow palette, just a dual eyeshadow palette, which has this very sparkly colour. That's fun. And a sort of matte tan and a sparkly brown in the other side. And that is in Caramel Slice. And then, finally, we have multi balm and blusher so no eyeshadow in this one and this is in autumn scandal i think i might use this one today i think this one would look to be sort of my favorite so that's a powder blush and then it's got this nice balm as well which again cheeks lips and eyes i think and i feel like i want to use this on my eyes today i'm gonna actually use a brush rather than just my fingers because i feel like i want to make sure i'm getting it in a sort of precise location it kind of looks nicer in real life than it's coming up on camera. It's coming up kind of weirdly patchy on camera. I find that happens to me all the time. It looks normal in real life and the camera just picks up some sort of weird lighting. Let's see what it looks like on my slightly better lit side. I'm just going to take this Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Whiskey, which is just a nice brown colour. So from the little Autumn Scandal um, palette thing, I'm also going to use the blush, which is a sort of peachy colour. And then this product that I showed you first from Dear Dahlia was the highlighter palette. I think I'm going to use this sort of peachier, warmer shade at the bottom here. Quite nice and subtle actually, so you can sort of build it. I'm going to go and stand in the natural light in a minute so you guys can see this a little bit better. I'm going to use my Bare Mineral Strength and Length 
brow gel just to brush through the brows initially and then I'm kind of going to let that settle and dry because it is a bit of a um, kind of a wet product I suppose takes a minute to sort of settle in and I'm just going to curl the lashes pop on some strength and length mascara as well I just love the way this mascara separates and kind of fans out my lashes something to do with the wand then I'm going to take Glossier Boy Brow to add a bit more colour into my brows basically just a little bit more sometimes it helps just to layer products as well um, kind of get double the effects and speaking of layering products I'm also going to use the Hourglass Unlocked Moist Moisturiser Mascara as well just to add even more volume you could kind of just do two layers of the same product but I do like switching it up so Dear Dahlia also sent out a couple of these um, I don't know what they're called what are they called? Lip Tints but actually they from their description, Dream Velvet Lip Mousse, they sound a bit heavier than lip tint. So this one is Fever. Ooh, look at that colour. Might be a bit too much for me today. <laughs> and that one is um, Cranberry. I might use a little bit of Cranberry actually, but they've got that sort of moussey texture. So you can do a really soft, focused lip, which is something I do really like. So I'm not going to use too, too much. I'm going to follow up. Pat it in a little bit. Then I'm going to do a little bit of freck. Love to do my freckles. I find that this time of year, like I said, when I'm a bit paler, it just helps enhance my sort of bronzer and colour. Makes me look like I've got a little bit more colour. I'm just probably going to go over the nose today. I do actually get sort of natural ones on my nose as well. So I'm trying to <laughs> bring those out. So obviously we are in natural light. Really big fan of this lip tint, really really nice. Just really like the colour and the texture of it, it's nice. Um, and I also liked the product that I put on my eye as well, nice and subtle for a little wash of colour. hope this isn't the worst angle in the world, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry I came on here and started complaining immediately this morning. I do actually think I will miss being pregnant, mostly because of the little movements. Um, actually quite vigorous movements <laughs> and I always find it funny when mums say that because you're like oh but the baby will be out and you can look at them and cuddle them which is going to be absolutely wonderful but there is something really just lovely about sharing a body sometimes and feeling all their little wriggles inside so yes there are things that I will miss anyway my loves I think I'm going to go over to the main house um, and do some reading over there because it is a bit more of a comfortable temperature over there. Currently reading Gormenghast again, reading Titus Grown. I would love to finish that by the end of this week if I can. And I'm also reading The Cloud Roads on my Kindle, which is a fantasy, um, which comes very highly recommended by N.K. Jemison. So I have high hopes. I hope they are not dashed. I haven't properly started it yet though, so I cannot comment on that. Uh, Titus Grown is still enjoying it. It's just so atmospheric, evocative. It's um, really quite unlike a lot of things I've read before. And yes, Zach is at the shop at the moment, so hopefully he's gonna come back with some food <laughs> that we can have for lunch. Chilly. Yeah, couldn't find his coat. Couldn't find his coat today. He just wants to stay. <laughs> You'll have to do some running around, Teddy. Oh. You are quite gorgeous, sir. Mm -hmm. No, you can't see how big he is. 
massive. inside um so yes forgot to film my lunch today but that's because it looked a bit pathetic because it was filled pasta with olive oil because we had run out of pesto <laughs> and i was like this is not the most appetizing looking, looking meal i've ever seen i couldn't wait for zach to get back with the shopping so i had to go ahead and have some and yes just been doing a bit of reading with gorman gas then zach came back with the shopping and we did the big wipe where we wipe everything down um and then took teddy out for a walk oh my goodness he was so lovely he was so so nice greyhounds are so gentle he's nine so he's quite old and he is a lovely boy um and extremely soft i always forget how soft greyhounds are because they look kind of wiry i'm always surprised by how soft they are when i give them a little pats and yes he was very he was very up for pats but he's come home now. I am going to do a bit more reading. I think we're having a minestrone for dinner, which I'm excited for. And having a pretty chill afternoon, actually. I think the walk was probably good for me. It was pretty brief, to be honest, as well. Um, but good to keep moving. Lots, like I said earlier, lots of baby bits have arrived. Sorry, there's some bashing going on next door. <laughs> lots of baby bits have arrived. I don't think I'm going to go through everything partly because i just don't know whether it will be helpful or useful or not at this point i think what i might do is once she's arrived and a few months into her arrive her arrival i might do like a newborn recommendations blog post that would be the best because otherwise i'll just be banging on for ages about muslins and it's just not <laughs> She's not of interest to anyone. So, but I will maybe show you, we've got a pram now, so I'll show you what we've got, kind of some of the bigger purchases. In terms of bassinet style thing, we are going with a snoo, which hasn't arrived yet. Um, but I'm very excited, I'm very excited for the snoo. I think if you're in the know, the snoo is like the thing to have. <laughs> it's crazy how you open up a whole new world of shopping experiences. Uh, when you're a parent, but yes. And we're also getting a little port more kind of portable bassinet for from Little Green Sheep. So those two haven't arrived yet. Um, but we have got a pram, so I'll show you the pram later on. Anyway, I need to catch up on my water intake because I've not drunk enough water yet today. And yes, do a bit more reading. Okay, I once again forgot to film my meal, <laughs> but this is it in a box. Um, yes, Zach made a really delicious minestrone. Lots of veggies in here and a bit of pesto as well. Homemade pesto. Vivi nice. And we've got some more Gower Cottage brownies. Mentioned these last year, but they are delicious. I'm just running myself a nice hot bath. It's not very exciting really, is it? They more or less all do the same thing. But we went with the Cybex Priam in the end. If everything looks like a mess, I apologize. There is a lot of baby stuff hanging around. 
in its non-permanent place. But yes, so we went with a kind of pack, which included um, obviously the carry cot for newborns up to about six months. And then it has like the seat pack, which will take it all the way up to, I think when she's about four, something like that. Also my dad and stepmom bought us this, so we are very lucky and um, thank them very much for this very generous gift. But yeah, so carry cot, seat pack, and the travel system that we got also came with the car seat, which is the Cloud, um, Cloud Z, don't know, Cloud something, eye size. It's got a monkey in it in a minute because that's what we've been using as our baby prop in our NCT glasses. But yes, picked this, I watched one video which compared this to a bugaboo fox, I think, and something else. One of the other big brands. And I liked it immediately just because it looked kind of compact and sleek compared to the other ones. I already knew I probably wanted the um, this car seat because it goes flat so that you can get her out of the car sleeping put it flat and she can stay in it a little bit longer so don't have to disturb them. Yes, when I found out the car seat fit on the chassis of this, I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna pick this um, because you could spend, I'm sure, days and days and days <laughs> comparing them all. Unfortunately, because it's locked down as well, we didn't have much choice of going in and sort of trying various ones. Um, otherwise, we might have gone and done a like a John Lewis or I think Mamas and Papas maybe offers that sort of service as well where you can go in and sort of try different prams. I'm not, not gonna collapse it for you guys right now, but it does collapse pretty quickly. Um, not so much with the carry cot, you ha obviously have to take the carry cot off, but I think with the seat pack, it's even quicker. Um, so yes, I like it. It's very sleek, very chic, and it has, um, and it's got really good maneuverability. I don't remember Indy's pram <laughs> feeling this maneuverable. Um, and there's all sorts of bits and bobs you can get for it and everything, but that is the pram we decided to go for and the car seat too. The bath is run. Sadly, we have run out of all our bubble baths, but I'm gonna put an oil in, I think. So sadly, I've run out of one of my faves, which is de-stress muscle, which I believe has something peppery in it. It smells really, really nice. And also, you know, we need to de-stress my muscles at the moment, but I've run out. So I'm gonna do deep relax tonight. Some of them do have like sage and stuff in. So I do avoid those for now, at least. Um, but this one I think is safe for me right now. Um, Zach is back now uh, from watching the football, which means he can <laughs> Demonstrate, you best do it really, really well. <laughs> Demonstrate how to collapse this. You ready? Do you even know how to do it? No. So you yes, click it too. out. Yeah, oh, that was pretty, that was pretty speedy. Yeah, I'll give you that. Does that go all the way down? Okay, attempt one over. Attempt two. <laughs> this time you know how to do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, ta-da. I don't think that's too bad. People keep saying it's quite bulky, but I suppose we've got quite a big car. And obviously you have to figure out where you're gonna put the carry cot as well if you are going in the car. Yeah, it's certainly, I, when I was saying compact, by the way, I was talking in the context of like, when you look at it in comparison to some of the other like popular prams, it looks much smaller. <laughs> I don't think it's literally the most compact pram you could get. Um, I think there are probably more compact ones if that is a big concern of yours. Our NCT teacher told us the other day to work out how everything works before she comes, including the baby slings and all of that sort of thing. So that's our homework at the minute. So it is officially time to end the vlog. Say goodnight, had a very nice bath. I am so thirsty. I often find this happens to be, it's like my thirstiest time of day is late at night which is so annoying because I do not want to be up and down peeing all night. So that's what I'm thinking about right now is whether I should have 
the rest of my bottle of water or not. But Zach and I are going to watch some of The Office, probably. We've been watching it again. We watched it not too long ago, to be honest. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again soon, I think. I can't remember what my next video will be. But there'll be more vlogs to come as well. Bye!